you yeah. take it away, you basically negate some of the options as well. And the dragon lane, but you know, four of the bands in the second rotation. Now check that. Three out of the four bands are marksmen being denied from each other. Now that will be the Vi being targeted away by uh by Trace Esports as well. And so now the Lucian is going to be locked in here Ooh. by PRU and immediately answered by the Zeri. So we're back okay. to the Zeri versus Lucian. Yeah, we are. We are indeed going back into uh, Zeri for the side of Trace Esports because we haven't seen this for the longest time. Right? We haven't seen this for the longest time come through. Especially with Vladimir and Zeri because traditionally from what we've seen, we see a Lucian, we see an Ezreal coming into the bottom lane. But this is a, a good change of pace. Yeah, so late game oriented lineup yeah. for uh, Trace Esports, but they don't mind because they do have the early game champions in the Hecarim and the Renekton to at least try to salvage their early game and make sure that they reach the late game. This will be very interesting though. Uh, Dipper? Wait, okay. Ooh, it, are they really doing this? Because it's, it's it, okay, a Fiora versus Renekton matchup should side the Renekton. But the longer the lane goes, you know, the, the Fiora will, will have enough items to not yeah. get bursted by the Renekton. But oftentimes, you know, the Renekton can actually just punish the Fiora so, so hard at the early stages that, you know, that's basically mm -hmm. the, the yeah. focal point here by, by Crazy Sports. So, uh, you know, for, for all the viewers out there, I think, you know, Weibo would play around and gank around the top side more this time because uh, he needs to make sure this Ren uh, Renekton will be relevant still into the late game. Mm -hmm. Especially going into the all ends, right? Because Fiora heavily relies on the ability to go mobile, typically the lunges as well as sustain. But the thing is, it's just too much pressure going into the top side of the map. But overall as well, right, we have to really consider how it how the the side of crazy esports is drafted right they have hecarim coming into their lineup so i think that is also one of the pivot that the side of bru has to respect and yeah, we'll see lots of front lines available uh towards trace esports also means that they they will have a lot of space for the zeri to work with so we could be we, we could be seeing you know a juju pop-off moment today you know, pentakill for the Zeri. When was the last time we saw it? Oh. I think the, the last time we saw a pentakill from the Zoe was uh, KBG last season. Uh, but there was already a pentakill for the Vladimir. I forgot who it was. But that's a champion that is also very capable of doing mm -hmm. that rare feat. But yeah, top side is going to be the concentration of our matchups today just because of, you know, how wrong Renekton is on the top side, especially against. I would say squishier, uh, squishier champions like the Fiora. Yeah, and uh, Tipper just has to uh, really focus in not going all ins, uh, just focus in with the lunges and uh, get to uh, the strike points, right? Yeah. Getting the the point where he deals the most amount of damage up against the Cell, but yeah, overextending is not an option. Yeah, and if he over aggress himself. There will be a tendency or there will be a potential for uh, the Renekton to just Funny. cast his second skill. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And uh, if you basically just... If, if you miss your timings with your repost, or if you miss your parry timings, that will just be this uh, a disaster overall on the top side. So yeah, he needs to be patient here and Tipper needs to make sure that he don't go over aggressive. Because we've seen times you know, where Tipper goes over aggressive. Uh, and overconfident that gets punished by the opposing team. So hopefully, you know, for, for the chances of BRU to win this, that will not happen. Especially considering as well that the, the stun of a Renekton is very, very easy to, to cast and yeah. really push through. So that will be something that Tipper has to be wary about. Wow. But this time, okay. Weba, Attack, and Juju pays a visit coming into the bot side. Rever, that will be the first engage here as what the Jess now being pinned out has to use up oh. the flash. But a good this... transfusion coming in from Yuza. But a trade back coming in from Triple V will secure them with a one for one. I think that's a two for one because Valdis is just going to chase Juju. Make that three potentially? Oh. 
Yabby, yeah, are you <laughs> was able to take that kill into the mid lane as well? So that's triple kill only in trade for one. Wow, BRU. Talk about getting the best possible advantage in the early game. Valdas being uh, gifted two kills and one assist is definitely massive. And now, if you're a Thipper, the only thing that you have to do is to survive the lane topside because BRU is definitely getting the advantage elsewhere in the map. We look into that replay once again, and it's crazy sports. They were the one who called this, right? They were the ones who went for the engage, but the Jess did not survive even investing his flash. But there to punish is Valdas with all the AoE damage, Exhaust being a little bit late. And more importantly, Valdas, uh, he leveled up to level 5 and, you know, a level 5 Aatrox with the World Ender available. Oh, that's, a, uh, that's a very scary champion, especially in the early stages of the game. It is, it is. And the BRU taking the first couple of kills here is really nice addition as well to how they're able to really push the borders here up against Crazy Esports considering. Once again, the story name for Trace has been undefeated over the past week, only being defeated by EDG series-wise, yeah. so... BRU is pretty much on the pressure here, but... Mm -hmm. The side of Tracy Esports... Up against BRU, this is a battle they have to win. Wow. You look at Valdas, he's stealing away some camps from Weibas jungle as well. Wow, okay, so... BRU is really feeling confident right now, and again, if there's one APAC team that can... Actually, do a win or get a win. Wait, Nisa. Oh, okay, Ooh, so close. Yeah, flash been burnt here by Lisa and the Dominus as well. Meanwhile, it's it is Thipper winning to the top side, and uh, Lisa is actually you know feeling the pressure right now. This is just, you know everything that could go right did actually go right to the side of uh, BRU. Uh, of BRU, but yeah. the, the 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 bigger question here, Infinity is. Will they be able to convert it into an objective win? Because that's mm -hmm. how it is, right? Like that's how you basically accelerate your goal lead, expand your goal lead uh, by by making sure that you secure two of the objectives uh, in the first five minutes. It's easier said than done, for sure, especially against the CN teams. But that will definitely be the goal. Yeah, it's a lot more difficult, right? It will be the goal for the side of BRU, but it well, will be you. difficult as well. Golden feet now jumping through, but you have Weva visiting the top wow! side and wow! just doesn't want to fight that. Weva will secure it. The onslaught of shadows just to protect the rift walk and placing it correctly and properly to make sure that golden feet will go down. And so now Tracy Esports is in the position to actually win this objective fight on the top side. Yeah, Rift Herald will be left open. No contest coming through for the side of BRU. And yes, they are going to visit the Mountain Drake, but that's enough time for TE to come through. But Jess. Now into the front lines, having the sights onto Lee Sao. The stuns comes in, but Lee Sao will not get traded. He lives. And Valdus is down. That's the jungler down for the side of BRU. And Tracy Sports again with their prowess. They can just get another advantage for themselves a dragon is a very juicy target yeah mountain drake now being started what the just into the backside being cancelled by the body tap from tack now triple v as well is here but tipper going for the pincer maneuver scolding feet has seen him has to jump in with a lunge onto the dragon's pit it's a mountain drake but available for him to take bru will not take it down as de secures it and right now tracy Spurs doesn't want to fight up but against career i'm united as there's just no more value left Cold and feet being targeted though by Juju. But Juju oh. doesn't want to overextend here, and that will in turn just be an objective taken by TE with no kills. Yeah, good knockup by what the just but Valdas just a little bit late to follow through. By the way, that's an exit kill by Juju. That's a uh, Ultra Shock Laser hitting the Cassadin. If I'm not mistaken, because I just saw a notification that uh, he was able to get a kill. Let's look at that replay once again. Juju. How does he oh, find the snipe? Info. They had oh, info. Oh, yeah, that like, was so that's, good. And that's twice in a row the golden thing did go down without without any change or without any uh, retaliation. Yuza also getting a solo kill here in the bot lane. And as good as BRU started this game, Tracy Sports was able to respond very, very well. Yeah, it, it, it's called the, the, the Ward wins. 
MVP uh, award. Vi- vi- award vi- MVP. Vision wins games, I guess. Yeah, is the thing that <laughs> yeah, definitely <laughs> is. But right now, Valdez is coming into the backside as Axe is on oh, the back. Is. That will be okay. a trade back, but Wanda just has to commit out the flash to return and retreat back away as Weba comes in as well. Yeah, that's a one for one. Uh, and then, so now Weba trying to chase Golden Feet. Golden Feet being chased out. Be able to retreat out with a reflock, but good zone coming from Hueba. <laughs> He's daring him to go in, right? Like, come in and I will make you taste my scythe, I guess. Yeah. I think that's a scythe, right? That, that's a it is. Reaper it is. scythe. Okay. It is. It's one of those uh, weapons that you also used in one of the games that you played before. You remember what? that? You remember yeah. Reapers, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with the Reaper sites, yeah, the Pumpkin. Yeah, exactly. exactly. But, One of them. Yeah. Uh-huh. Coming, <laughs> coming back into this game, though. We have one third already taken down by Tracy Spurt, but Valdez coming to visit into the bottom side. Has to use up the Sanguine Pole. Has to commit the Flash as well on top of that. Yeah. So, good summoner spell burned by Valdez into the bottom lane. But Hueba looking for a value someplace else is what to just fall. Even Lisa is here. Golden Feet will get locked down. Another kill by Trace Esports. That's two in a row. Plus two towers in the mid lane. Open by Trace Esports. The macro game for DE is just outright impressive. They're able to take two thirds into the mid lane. They take a couple of kills on themselves as well, which is really, really good as a golden junction. Yeah, massive, right? Trace, uh, way by starting it all with, again, finding that pushback. Onto a primary target and Lee Sao being in a very timely place just cemented another advantage uh, towards Brace Esports. And this is what happens when you give them any form of breathing room, right? Like, we are you with how good they were uh, during the early stages. I believe everything turned around with that kill on the top side on Golden Feet. Mm-hmm. And uh, this is all. This is just a testament as to how good C and teams are, right? Overall, you give them just one advantage, and they will balloon it. They Lisa. will find a way to really get that advantage. Lisa, well, this was a world end, world ender already, but Lisa just opted to back away. So that's just an ultimate burn for Valdez. Yeah, it's the hesitation by BRU. This is not the same BRU that we saw in the first few minutes, right? But this. Because if they are feeling confident, they will most likely go for the chase and will not hesitate at all. But again, one slice and dice in exchange for <laughs> the world ender is a Way massive off. thing. Coming through into the top side, because the forge guard will not be enough. As that will be one man down already, and Weba will be able to pin down Tipper. There's just no escape. Grand Challenge is used up. Has to force out the Flash as well. But Weba is a much more mobile champion, and that will be the kill once again by TE. Yeah. Hecarim by Weba. Did we just say that, you know, Weba can use almost anything? I guess, you know, Hecarim is also one of those champions that he can play very effectively. And so now Tracy Sports enjoying. A sizable lead here is potentially going to take down another tower. That's five towers to zero of BRU. Very methodical and very clean. I think it will be the characteristic here by Trace Esports, right? Thus far, they're not letting any value left alone and left open for BRU. Yes, you could get a couple of kills here from there on one side or another, but they get turns. They get gold injections. They get something from those objective being taken down yeah. by BRU. And now that's two dragons uh, joining Trace Esports as well, just basically starving BRU in general here. All those towers allows uh, Trace Esports to plant their vision on towards the jungle of BRU and, you know, there to punish will be the members of Trace Esports. Weba, by the way, the last time that he played the Hecarim was against Long uh, from Nova and it was a win by Weba, so... <laughs> Ah, uh, you don't want to give him his Ekarim, I guess. You don't. You definitely do not. It's just too strong of as, a, as an engaged tool, right? Yeah. Plus, on top of that, you have Onslaught of Shadows to connect and fear the opposition time and time again with just yes. huge AoE as fear. But now it will be Tak, who's pinned down, has to use the Dark Oak Enchant and the Flash as well. But there's no escaping. The Call of the Forge got the amount of damage a you has. Currently, the Triple yeah. B. Well, Zach was was by himself, right? <laughs> like the, the closest teammate. 
of his was uh, the, the Dragon Lane are now Thipper feeling confident with the numbers advantage, but the Blade of the Ruin King already completed here by Lee Sao presented some threat. Uh, to the side of BRU, and that's the reason why they cannot push through. Like, BVV is here, but uh, he's wasting precious seconds, precious farm just by doing this. Dominus already committed. Tipper is being ignited. There's just so much sick damage, and that will be Juju who comes through into Frey as well. But the CC coming yes. in from Orange has changed the way. Azeri falls down. Lys now follows through. BRU is now on the lead currently, but Huiba huh? is still in the matchup attack, and Yusa uh, waiting around the Horizon might just commit this anytime soon. They have vision. Yeah, what the justice are refusing to go down quietly in the night and uh, is willing his team back into this game. That's back to back picks for BRU. Signs of life for sure, but th this is still a very sizable lead in the favor of Tracy Sports. And yeah, sure, you can say that BRU was able to get a couple of kills here and there, but still no towers, right? Like the, the macro play is being denied here by Tracy Sports. It's not to say that BRU's macro is uh is bad it's it's just trace esports with the advantage that they were able to get although you can kill them your position will not be in place for you to take down on the projector uh, they've heard it they get their first turret coming into the bottom path but now it's way but at least now who pays a visit will be a 2v1 as they get the kill but once again BRU always find siri and they take him down wow okay so this now changes everything now BRU We'll be able to take down another tower here on the top side. And we all know that the game favors those teams that are coming back. Uh, now at least the goal lead has dwindled down to 3,000 gold. Meanwhile, this is the biggest meanwhile of the day. Weba will still be in the position to secure themselves uh, the, the, the more important objective, which is uh, the Mountain Soul, uh, to join here Trace Esports. If BRU will surrender this Mountain Soul over to Trace Esports, their chances of winning this and coming back into this game will be just basically so low right now. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah. you know, Mountain Soul, imagine Mountain Soul joining all the champions here by, by Trace Esports. They will have a lot of defenses. Super, super defensive uh, um, buff that you're able to take. Plus, uh, considering you already have two buffs already, that's very, very strong. Add to that another dragon. Uh -huh. is really massive so crazy esports is on a better lead here as Esa looks for the chase on the zipper ignites him down but mm -hmm. not be enough to take that kill but tack looks onto valdis gets information what is just into the backside with a calling connecting onto Yusa. just so much damage as well but yeah. not enough to secure that kill as golden feet goes in with a rift walk a good what? timing with the sand gun pull to be able to go Six feet under, and just might return die. back to safety. And as you mentioned, Hueba might die with a body sum, or rather, what just coming through with a knock up. The Crocs okay. will not be able to pull back him. And you saw Transfusion onto Triple V. Almost takes him down, yeah. but in the end, no one got deleted. Everyone's still safe. The dragon, the dragon is already being started here by Trace Esports, and looks like the BRU is not in the possession to contest. And that will be the Mountain Soil, soil joining. Crazy esports, that's a massive advantage to have. Yeah, you have already the Mountain Soul HP advantage going to the side of Tracy Esports as well. They have information of Taper Valdis and what the Jazz. Check. That's really amazing. And so now BRU, with all the positive things that they were able to do, just the fact that they were not able to take down Weiba there was unfortunate, right? Like they invested everything on towards Weiba. That was the perfect opportunity to get that hacker him down, but the stasis. Ancient saved Weba's life. VVV. Now, on the shadows into the backside. Triple V oh, is no. gone. Dead. Deleted. And now, what the Jess will be the next target as Z Cell brings him down. And Trace Esports gets a double. And there is pretty much less retaliation to the side of BRU. Although Valdis is alive, this could still be a 50 50 user. Tak and Juju trying to just make sure to spot Valdis. And finally, they do. Hold it, feet. Just went down as you saw has just so much raw damage with a proto belt and a sanguine pull a lot of hp was gone and now Weba gets to see tipper and the recall will not come through at the right time this out chasing him down your pulse will not save you and Weba will secure the ace that's the ace that's tracy sports marching down onto the mid lane We'll be able to open this one up. We, they don't even have to go back home. 
Okay, finally, some defenses here from BRU. Lee Sao, though, with the TP came through into vicinity. Nexus will be open. A 3v2. Comes the Forge Cut connecting on Lee Sao, but the Nexus will fall. And Trace will strike first in the series. Wow, okay. 1 0 in an instant. Started so, so well, did BRU, but there to punish multiple mistakes by BRU. Trace Esports, again, the number two team from CN. They're still 